Give me whatever is here in the city. Thank God she did not die. But, but Pastor, why didn't you call to alert any of us when this accident happened? <laughs> My brother, I was so confused. I was just too confused as at when this incident happened. Too confused. I mean, <sighs> Sister Mary was there. Ask her. Hmm? I tell you. God really did a wonderful work. Thank God she's recovering so fast. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Um, <clears throat> Sister Mary, please, I implore you to kindly go to my kitchen and prepare some food for her. Mm -hmm. I mean, it would be so inhumane of us to go visit her empty-handed. That is a good idea. 
and will keep on taking good care of her until she's able to mention her family's name or such useful information will be able to use. I agree. I agree. I agree. To God be the glory. He who delivers us in terms of trouble. I do not believe that this particular incident just happened out of the blues, no. See, I believe God wants to use this incident, which is destined to show his glory to man. That's my belief. Hmm. Yes, all things working together for good. It's not by accident. I hope you're feeling better now. Better. Well, we thank God. We thank God. Um, the doctor says you might be discharged tomorrow. I hope you can find your way back home. I can't understand. Before you got hit, where were you coming from? Nowhere. And to nowhere? This is amazing. What's your name? My name is Ogonna. I don't think it's wise bombarding her with all those questions. You know, maybe she's a maid running from a home where she was being maltreated. You think so? Yes, I think so. I guess for now, let us postpone all these questions until she's better to answer. Please. There is so much discussion here. And you know the question is not the question. I'm sorry, Noz. We're just trying to know her better. By asking her too many questions. Ouch. You better allow her be for now. Not to worry, we'll still have time for our story. I can tell my story. You people have become part of my story too. Are you sure you're strong enough to talk? Sister Rosemary, have you seen what you've cost now? Please, please, please. I hope you're not trying to cry. Please. I'm sorry. Okay. I, I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to put you in a bitter memory lane. I'm dead. My story is bitter. My life has been buttered with bitterness. I have had the fair share of the ugly side of life. God. God. What could be worse than being an orphan in the midst of tragedy?
Ijoma. Ijoma. Why are you what crying? What have I not done? Eh? What have I not done so that I should do stop pestering my life? Eh? Why would he keep asking me over something he knows I cannot do? Why? Is that why you're crying? Oya ki ne belakwa. If I had known that you're crying because of Echendo, I wouldn't have rushed here to see you. Eh? My problem is that I don't even know how to go to their house. So that I can make a wife see what I've been going through. Your husband said, eh? I don't know. Oh, you can do well. Oh, you can do well. Oh, you can do well. Wipe your tears. Aye. Kichanya again. Next time I try to tell you such a thing, stand up and give him her challenge. Don't even select your words at all. It's up on no kwanya. Say anything that comes to your mouth. Is that not what he wants? So that his his kinsman, who has been looking for an opportunity to say that I insulted my late husband's brother. They've been looking for the opportunity to say I insulted him. Let them say now. Let them say it. What have they not said? Hey, Joma. What have they not said? Listen to me. They've driven you so far just because you're soft. Joma, harden up. You get blind because of Echendo's problem. Eh? Harden up and tell them that your husband's departure is never a passport for anybody to roll into his armpit. <laughs> Mama, didn't I cook well? Are, are you not enjoying the food? <laughs> eh? No, your food is good. I'm enjoying it. You did. You cook a good food. Mm, but Mama, see the look on your face nice Agonna. as if food is not nice. Hey. Agonna, let's eat this food without talking too much, please. Oh, Mom. Um, Mama, Uncle Echendu came here again this morning. Was that why you were crying all day? Who told you? It's Neddy, your friend. She also told me how she advised you. Gonna, I don't know what to do again. I am just being careful so that nobody will say I insulted their gender. But, Mama, did he kill Papa? No, I stand every chance to say he did. In other words, he did? I don't know whether he did or he did not. You know, your father has been sick. For a very long time after he fell down from the palm tree years ago. And I can't because of this stupid way Echendo is behaving. Now I accuse him that he's the one that killed your father. What I can't. Mama, you have to be careful. You know our people are evil. My oh, dear. I will. Mama, it's evil. You're sure you like that. Where is your mother? Uncle, good morning. Good morning. Where is your mother? Has she gone out this early? Well, she has learned how to trek about like a brooding fowl. Ah. Uncle, did you quarrel with anyone before coming here this morning? I don't know. What is it? Oh, my wife. You are inside. Oh, I thought that you have left this early. <laughs> 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 Don't touch me. Since when did you begin to inspect my movement, Sir Echendo? I am not inspecting. I am supervising because it is my right to supervise what my late brother left behind, hmm? including you. You see, Guinea? 
Come on, shut up and walk into the house. Adults are talking. For your information. For your information, I tend to. If you think because my husband is dead, that you'll be policing me about, you better think twice. Do you hear me? Just to own this place, you better think twice. But you just have to stop all this your nonsense and funny moves you are making. Because it's not going to fetch you anything but total disgrace. Disgrace! Isi Gwe Atoni Menkata. I already have enough grace in me that no one can disgrace me. The earlier you begin to think about my options, the better for you. Because soon, women are planning to hand this place over to me, including you. What? What and who are they planning to hand over to you? HND. This place, this compound, and you. Uncle, it's not true. They are not planning to do anything. You're the one trying to confuse them. Can someone tell them? Don't you touch my daughter. Walk off my Don't even try it, let me tell you. Don't you lay this your beautiful hands on her. Look what am I now? What is what kind of nonsense is this? Eh? Is it by force? That my husband is dead. Is it the license for you to possess everything that he owns? Is it by force that I'm asking you? What kind of nonsense thing is this? Easy way attorney men kata. If record it. We shall see. We shall see. You see where I turn him in. Hey! What am I now? Uh, Ijoma, I opened up a statement. And uh, you have said nothing yet. Now, what, what do you want me to say? Hmm? Say something. Uh, anything. Tell this man to keep quiet. Tell him to keep quiet, or else I will get up from this seat and go inside. You know I'm here because of you and not because of him. That I know, Ijoma. Don't worry. He will not utter one word unless I ask him to do so. <laughs> but, uh, Ijoma, you know, tradition demands that since your husband left without a son, his brother here, Ichendo, will inherit all that he had, okay, including her, Ichi, including her. God forbid! God forbid! Nonsense! Naibuchi, thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Nonsense. Ichendo, what have you just done? What have I done? What have I said? Before? Was it not the truth that I said? I told you to hold your truth until I have convinced her. Eh? Now, look at what you have done. So you brought me here to make a fool of me, Echendo. I am sorry. I am sorry. Echendo, you should be careful, very, very careful on how you like people. That does not like you. You should be very, very careful. And uh, she has not also forgotten about her husband. Then you think she can, you can easily enter into her. Uh, now that she has gone inside, uh, what do we do next? I should be asking you that. Please, let's leave here. Uh, I'm sorry. I think we should continue talking to her until she learns how to behave. It, it all depends on how you, you do your talking. on the move. Okay. Let me find this goat here. I will talk to her later. Yes. Uh, okay. Oh, are you back? Uh, Where are you coming from? 
Uncle, who has this goat you're tying here? Have you learned to answer questions with questions like your mother? Eh? Amanda, are you walking out on me? Anyway, when your mother comes back, tell her that I brought this goat. I brought it for reconciliation. I made a mistake of the mouth last time we talked and she got angry. So tell her that I brought this goat to apologize to her. Though I will see her later, okay? And I'm easy way. Easy way at any moment. your husband to leave me alone. Let him stop disturbing my life. I can't marry him, is it by force? Eh? I don't want to marry him. Ijoma, what did you just say? See, I am hearing this for the first time, honestly. What he told me was that, uh, how did he put it? That uh, uh, woman wanted to give him a little of your husband's property and keep the rest for you. <laughs> he lied, he's a liar. He has been pestering me to become his mistress, and I refused. Eh? What? What I'm saying is that one of these days, I am going to insult him. And I will make sure I do that at the marketplace. I will do it openly at the marketplace, so that he will let you leave me alone. Nonsense! Ijoma. Hello. 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 Welcome. Uh, How are you? I'm fine. Who brought this thing here? Uh, his uncle Chendu. He said he's using it to ask for reconciliation. <laughs> hey! He wants to bribe me with this thing. He wants to bribe me with a goat. And <laughs> we're not <laughs> it will never work. That man will not get what he wants. <laughs> hey! If you open your mouth and say this nonsense again, Omuna will hear it and they will give you a fine. Mm -hmm. Echendo, where is that? I know you have the habit of selling my livestock whenever you need money. Eh? Where is that goat that my brother brought here last week? Provide it to You must provide it. He brought it to me as a New Year gift. Okay. okay. Remove your hand from my singlet. If not, I will hold your bra now. One. Easy way at any man. Two. Easy way at Tony Menkata. Three. Give me my money. I think my mother said I should give this goat to you and I should ask Uncle to stop chasing her with the goat. Will you shut up your mouth? Shut up your mouth. Uncle gave it to my mother as a present. No. You can go. Eh? Come on, get away from here. Eh? What do you do? Read your mother for me, eh? Okay. You can go. So, you took my goat to Ijoma's house to lure her with it, eh? eh? By the way, let me ask you, what is this thing that you have been telling this woman? Do you realize that she's your late brother's wife? Eh? Do you? You better remove your mouth from this matter because this matter is for men. Shameless man. Who is a shameless, shameless man? Who is a shameless, shameless man? Who is a shameless man? Shameless 
do something better than giving it to that woman. So, how did it go? That woman is very tough. Very tough. What do you mean that woman is very tough? Your late brother has no son. It is your turn to go and take her. Go and possess her. She's all yours. Huh? You know what I've been avoiding? Let people not suspect that I killed her husband. Let people say what they like after you did not kill her, did you? The worst is that my wife is taking sides with her. Does your wife not know tradition? Um, H and uh, if you are not interested, I am. Uh, I can. <coughs> you are what? Uh, since you don't want to take what belongs to you, uh, let me come and help you now. Let me take her. Mm -hmm. No, <coughs> take her. It is not easy. It's not going to be as easy as you think. Oh. What is not easy? Just go there when she is alone and turn her head. But she come. Everything starts working. Once you do it once, it will sweeten her. She'll be asking for more. And before you know it, you pregnant her. She will be all yours. Your wife has no option. Don't accept her as a co-wife. Ah, check it now. Easy way at any man. Easy way at any man. You mean rape? I, I didn't mean rape. I didn't mean rape. You use your brain now. Use your brain. You know what to do. You know what to do. Okay, okay. Mm. I know what to do. It's either unko or eke. Don't worry. No, I didn't say you should go and do something shameful. No, don't come. I have cola now. See that? See that? Let you cola. Ogazi. Huh? The matter at hand now is not all about cola. I'm okay. Thank you so much for turning my goods. You see, Echendo, my husband. That man is a fool. No problem. But if not because of you, if not because of you, eh? Okay. God knows I will not step my feet into this compound again. Eh? No. It's not like that. Hmm? Why will you fear Chendo? Why will you fear him? Oh, yes. Because I'm very dangerous now. Yes. <laughs> okay. I should be going. Oh? I should believe you. Send me your family. Don't go. Don't go. Stay in my house and gossip. I said, stay in my house and gossip. You could go. Hmm? Have you finished? Ask me, you could go. Leave your late brother's wife alone. Leave her alone, no. I will say it in the open. I will shout to her. I tell you, leave your late brother's wife alone. Oh, get it. Easy way, Anthony Men. Okay, come close to me and say it. Come, let me do that. I said, come. Come and say it. If you go to the strength of earth, what? With a broken part, you must take your back on your way home. If you go with a heavy part, you must take your back at home. But if you decide to go without any part at all, 
you will take your bath in the stream. A gentle, do you hear me? Which of these my words do you choose? Olaga, you confuse me with this you are tongue twister. <laughs> A town crier does not cry alone. Without his metal gun, cry as well. Who opens his door in the morning, opens his mouth as well. Olaga, Biko, stop waving this your basket of words. What exactly do you mean? If you kill today, you will not kill tomorrow. Agent, can you kill tomorrow? Tomorrow is invisible and unknown. It is not possible to kill tomorrow. Good. Your request is not impossible. Uh -huh. That is exactly what I want to hear, Olaga. Easy way at only men. Easy way at only men. Come with me. Let's get behind. Because she must say it with your mouth. Easy way at only men. Easy way. Mama, what is it? I can't tell. I had my name. Mama, who called you here? It's like somebody called my name. Remember you told me this kind of thing last night? <sighs> but it's still the same voice that called me the other day. I had it clearly. Ha. Mama, be cool if they call you again, don't answer. I heard. I don't want it. Hey! Uh, don't even look in their direction. You know evil people have a way of hunting people down if they call you and you respond. Oh, Mama, I hurt. Hey, but I'm tired. It's like I want to rest. I'm tired. We need to sit down for some time and rest. Yes. yes. I am all right.
Tell me the truth. Do you have a hand in each of my sudden death? What kind of stupid question are you asking me? Because people are beginning to point accusing finger at you. People of respectable opinion. People of worthy character. Those people are people of careless opinion. People of unworthy behavior. People whose houses are fast ablaze and they were busy chasing crickets in death. Oh, those of them, any one of them who is accusing me of having a hand on the death of my late brother's wife, God in heaven, it's only God who will judge all of them. Stop crying, stop crying. I, I didn't bring you to cry. It is okay, it's okay. I didn't bring you to, uh, to cry. Actually, I said it's okay. Eh? No, 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 no. To God who made me, if I have a hand on the death of my late brother's wife, oh God, oh, ah, as I is okay, bring your hand down. You don't have to go about and tell people you are innocent. You don't have to do that. If it is what it means to swear, no, no. to prove my innocence, I will do it. I will do it, August. Mm. It's okay, eh? Ah. Mm. Calm down, calm down. You see? Calm down. Thunder will not fail. To scatter those of them that are accusing me of killing my brother and his late wife. Onaga, just tell me the truth. What you did for me last time, was it to kill my brother's wife or for her to fall in love with me? Eparepa. <laughs> I asked you lots of questions before I took up your case. And you responded to all of them. Isi we atoni menkata. Isi we atoni menkata. Olaga, you were weaving your words like a basket. And I did not even know what I asked you then. Olaga, I hope it's not what I'm because if it is, what will you do? Isi we atoni menkata. Isi we atoni menkata. Eko na ki singi wa toko ni menkata. Ogunna, you should learn how to take heart. Eh? If it were a thing of tears, you know, all our tears put together should have brought back your mother. Oh, no. hmm? I have told her that before. Okay, no. you can stay here with us. Go oh? till we put things in order. Enugo. Anything you want, we will give you. As from now, I am your father, and my wife here is still your mother. Please, I feel like going inside to stay. So that you will go in there and start to shed tears again. No, I know. Let her go. Eh? She should learn that the earlier she takes the heart of a man, the better. Oh. In short, no, let's go in together. reminds me of now that we have succeeded in closing the chapter of my late brother's family mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. point of correction you have closed their chapter not we okay. Uh, okay okay i agreed mm -hmm. i killed them alone mm -hmm. now what am i going to do next in order to take over the Igwe ship of this community what you are going to do next. Very simple. We are going to inform the council members, especially the new. Let them walk towards that. The whole town knows that your brother is dead. 
So the crown should come on your head. Oh, guys, you are guys. Is it okay? Is it okay? Is it okay? <laughs> Uncle. Uncle, so you killed my parents for you to become the Igwe, Uncle? Abanya. Uncle, you killed my parents! Stop that girl! Stop that girl! Ogonna! Ogonna! Hey! Ogonna! Hey! This is my... That was how and why I left the village with my little savings, neither knowing whom to run to or where to go. I thought God had better plans for me in the city. I was actually thinking about it when Pastor's car Hit me. It's okay. Cry no more. God in heaven is your father and mother and will never let you down. Amen. 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 Um, <clears throat> Sister Mary, I would kindly uh, want to mandate you at this point to take this lovely sister to your house and make her comfortable. You see, the Bible says that he who cometh unto me, I will in no wise cast out. That is the word of God which we must obey. Yes, of course. Um, sister, um, the church will be sending you relief materials from time to time until you are able to get on your feet uh, by any job, you know, be it menial in the nearest future. Thank you very much, Pastor. Thank you. My God will bless you for me. Amen. Amen. You see, that is what the church also stands for. It's not just by preaching all the time. But the church has the responsibility of taking up the mantle of doing charity. Mm. And, Ogona, you have nothing to be worried about. Okay? God Almighty, who has brought you to this city, would definitely establish you in this city. Amen. 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 She will be comfortable in my house. Thank you very much. May God bless all of you for me. Thank you. You see, now, <clears throat> the proper way to appreciate God is to accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. Now my question to you is, will you do this? <laughs> you see, no matter how dark your past may be, you have a brighter and much more positive tomorrow. Amen? Amen. 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 Now let us hold hands and pray, please. <clears throat> Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Feel free. This is my house. Thank you. It's just that the memory of home haunts me occasionally. Ogona, I suppose you have forgotten everything about your past the very moment you choose to leave village for another life. Well... Whatever. It's not whatever. You see, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. So you have to truly forget about your past. Thank you. Okay, um, I'll tell my boss in the office about you, whether he will fix you in one of the vacancies. And I'm sure it will help you financially. Hey, sister. Thank you very much. My God will continue to bless you. Amen. Let me get you something to eat, okay? Hey, Chendo. Our people say a tall man does not steal in the market because he cannot run. 
And if he runs, everybody will see him running. You should learn how to choose nice proverbs whenever you want to talk with me. Yes. Listen. Listen, Echendo. When your late brother's daughter, Ogonna, when he got missing, what action, what effort did you, did you, Echendo, do? Yeah. Were you not there when he commissioned the time crier to announce the message that Ogonna was missing? Uh -huh. Did you not follow us to the shrine to confirm that wherever she is, that she is alive? What was she running away from? Bochi, mm -hmm. if it were in those days that I used to have hot temper, I would have slapped you long ago. Oh, or even suggest that you be sold into slavery. Uh -huh. You, you don't understand. That is your problem. Understand what? What is there to understand? Now you are asking. Now you are asking questions. Let me tell you. When Echendo's brother died, the whole of us, we all assumed that he died a natural death. But until Echendo here started struggling for this compound, people began to suspect him of being responsible for his brother's death. And Echendo is fond of fetching himself into suspicious. Do you know that people are accusing him of killing his, his late brother's wife? Do you know that? So, what are you talking about now? Where are you pointing to? Eh? Let me tell you. Sending a tank crier to go and announce to the whole village that Ogona is missing. It's not enough. That is what I am saying. It is not enough. But she... Should I have gone to the market square in full nakedness of mind for people not to suspect me? I don't know. I wonder. Bikonu, Ndiche, Bikonu. I beg of you. I can no longer control myself here. I am boiling. I am vibrating. Whoever that knows Buchi should tell him to leave this compound now. Calm down, calm down. It is not like that. It is not like that. You see where I told him, man. I say calm down. You see where I told him, man. It is not like that. Is it like what? What is it like? Why should this butchie divert the topic of our meeting to something that will not fetch us anything? Why? I say why? Now, Bucci. I want you to leave this house now. Leave my compound now. Okay. If you so wish, you this now, If you so wish. Huh? But let me tell you, don't push me. Don't push me, because if you do, you, you, Echendo, you will not like me. Okay. I will surprise you. You, you will not like me. You are pointing at me. Yes. You are pointing Yes. Echendo, what will you do? If I go inside this house no, now, you, you, you are not going to tell me. 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 Uh, as I was saying, I want to take a chieftaincy title, and every arrangement have been made. You want to take a chieftaincy title? Yes, yes. Mm. Since when did you begin to nurse the ambition? Must I tell you each time I begin to nurse a new ambition, what matters is to tell you when the whole thing is getting to its maturity stage. Nay. Nay. Is that why you have been selling the plot of land you collected from your late brother's wife before she died? No, answer me. Is that why? I am complaining that we did not do well by packing into this compound. 
and you want to rule people's suspicion by desiring a wasteful ceremony. Why would you do that? Isi we atoni menkata. Isi we atoni menkata. You see why I don't tell you each time I want to embark on a new thing. You are a joy killer. You never find anything I want to do pleasing. In short. Nay. Nay. Something is telling me that you are waging a war against our children and your late brother's children. In future, which children? I said which children? Okay. Oh. Agona has not yet been confirmed dead. Sure you know it. She's a woman. And she will produce children in future. Not in future. Will she produce children? to occupy her father's compound? Or will she produce children to fill her husband's family? That's if she is alive. Hmm. Come. Let me even ask you something. No, just tell me the truth. Do you have a hand in that girl's missing? Do you? Ogochuku, if I land you a terrible slap, will you contain it? Is that how you want to put it? I put it closer to your head. If you don't shut this your trespassing mouth. Heaven will bear me witness, oh. Heaven will bear me witness. I will never support this your evil act. I will never support it. My acts of what? I said my acts of what? Touch me. I said touch me. Touch me! I tell to touch me. I will grab you. Where you will kneel down and beg for me. Come. come back and grab me. I say, come and grab me. Evil woman. I will tell Omona this nonsense you said today. And you will know what the results will be. quickly wash up the dishes. This girl is just so spotlessly homely. You know, maybe you should come cook for me some other time. Then. Okay, uh, let me drop you off. Uh, no, Pastor, don't worry. I'll take a bike outside. Why bike? You said the church council members are coming for a meeting. In fact, that's why I'm hurrying so you can relax and wait for them. Okay, okay, okay. Um, please, please, wait, 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 please, wait, wait. Yeah. Um, Why don't you have this for your transportation? Transportation. Thank you, Pastor. Yeah, Thank you. Bye-bye. You're, You're, You're welcome. Have a nice day.
Exactly. Yes, so. from the village. Yes, so. Hey, welcome. Hi. I wonder where you've been. How's the journey? Fine. God is good. <sighs> Thank God, Jeff. Yeah. Where did you go? Okay, I went to Pastor Ifani's house. He called me and asked me to come over and prepare food for him. Ogonna, since when did that one begin? Uh, sister, I don't know. I was even surprised when he called me. Ogonna, you have to be very, very careful. He's still a man and not a piece of metal. Sister, why are you talking like this? He did not try anything How would you have known if he had thought about anything funny? How? Hey, Sister Mary, don't talk like this now. He's still a man of God, though. Anyway, did anybody come looking for me while I was away? Um, no one except the landlord's wife who came to find out if I am your relative or a new tenant. Just that? Mm. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, should I make food for you? Oh, no problem. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm joking this? <laughs> she was the one that told me she went to cook for Pacify. He even requested she comes again and cook for him. Mm, yes, yes. She told me she went there to cook, but she didn't mention she was given a second chance. You don't expect her to tell you that. Besides, when a man begins to like a woman's good cooking, you can only guess what may follow. I warned you. I warned you when that village girl was brought to you by pacifying. But you did not listen to me. Now he's beginning to manifest himself. She's just an orphan. Yes, she's just an orphan. A funny bit. Where are you the one that killed her parents? Eh? Sister Rose. The Bible says, let brotherly love continue. Uh -huh. Brotherly caution should also continue. If my spiritual eyes are not deceiving me, eh? that girl gonna, we should put the pastor into a very big temptation. Her good cooking is just a hambija. Very soon, the other good things will follow. Sister Rose, watch your mouth. You are a child of God. <laughs> That's why I have to preach against this before it happens though. And I think uh, we need to go and see Pastor Fine. We need to see him. That's a mark of idleness. We need to see him and advise him. Why don't you kneel down in your house and pray for him? Did I say I have not been praying for him? Hmm? Did I say I have not been praying for him? I pray for him every day. But it's still good we advise him. He needs an advice. I can feel it very well that he needs an advice. My spirit is telling me he needs an advice. It's okay. If you're not going tomorrow, I'll go and advise him. It's okay. It's okay. Sister. Sister Mary. <laughs> Sister Mary. <Rose. laughs> Was it not you pacifying had been planning to marry? Who told you? You think I've forgotten? You think I've forgotten everything you used to tell me about you and Pastor Fai brought about it? Oh, oh. No, 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 no. Look, I told... Sister Mary. I told you I saw him in my dream trying to marry me. That means you be longing for him. Then you have to open your eyes. You have to open your eyes very well. Shine it well, well. Before that girl gone and lost your chances of getting to him, oh, open your eyes. That's I did not tell you. I told you. Do not say, I did not tell you. Do it sharp sharp. <laughs> You're thinking about it, Abby. <laughs> you better think well. I have to go. Please your motto. Thank you for coming. Don't worry, I'll see you. We'll see you tomorrow. 
Sister Mary, uh -huh. come in, the door is open. Oh, oh God, oh, bless this all. Yes. Bless you. Sorry, Pastor. Yes. Good morning. Yes. I, I just finished taking my bath. Sorry. Okay, I was just uh, passing by and I decided to pay you for some visit. Thank you, Pastor. Yes, yes. So, I hope you're okay. Yeah. God has been good, yes. Yeah, you're very comfortable. Yes, Pastor. Yes. Yeah, I hope you're still ready. Abraham, what is coming over me? Oh my God, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. My Jesus, my God, he restoreth my soul, he leadeth me on the path of righteousness. Oh God, my God, my God. <laughs> This is amazing. How can he be looking at me like that? What for? Just that my towel mistakenly fell off my body? Hmm. Let me believe I have not come to the city to deceive a man of God. Are you sure of what you are saying? I don't say what I'm not sure of. Ogona is falling in love with the pastor. Oh, do I say the pastor is falling in love with the donor? But anyhow, five times two is equivalent to two times five. Well, I do not launch into serious matters without saying tangible reasons. I know you will not believe me, but I only came to tell you as a short shoot leader to be ready to stage the strike with the youths when we find out that the pastor is committing such a big sin. Sister Rosemary, allow me to investigate the allegation first, okay? Okay. Okay. Brother Kinsin. Hmm? Um, that reminds me, Brother Kinsin. Hmm? That you used to tell me. Why did you stop saying that to me recently? And, and what was that? Your Lisa will make a good housewife. Oh, did I? Several times, or have you forgotten? Okay, Sister Rosemary. You can make a good housewife. Then you have to back it up with actions now. You don't just say things like that to your woman and you relax. You have to back it up with actions. Sister Rosemary, when I told you that I wasn't proposing, or was I? Other people are serious with their choices, including Pastor Ifani. I don't know why you're pretending. Or do you even think I'm begging you to marry you? Sister Rosemary, I don't understand you anymore. Is this actually the reason why you came to see me? Huh? Who's that? Yes. Actually, I was in the bathroom before you came. 
Um, if you don't mind, please sit. Let me quickly tidy up. Oh, okay. Okay. in a little sheep and a little slumber. Oh my Jesus, I have gone astray and I have despised your Lordship. Have mercy upon me, O ancient of days. Should we remain in sin that the grace may abound? I am sorry, O Lord. Forgive the works of my hand, O Lord, eternal rock of ages, forgive me. Forgive me, Father. I'm asking this question over and over again. What is the problem? While I was away this morning, you were very cheerful. What is it? Now tell me, did anyone come here to abuse you? Then what is it? <laughs> Sister Ogona, did you just remember any of those bad incidences that beclouded your past? God. God. Why am I always in the middle? What middle? Pastor, Pastor, if I came here and raped me. What? How come? <laughs> he, he raped me in the bathroom. Pastor, if I. Mind what to say about the man of God. I'm not lying. He, he raped me. Jesus Christ. I've been suspecting this. I've been suspecting it. And I knew both of you have been doing it before. I smelt it. I, I did not do anything. I've never done anything with him before. I didn't do anything. He raped me. He, he raped me. You see? You see? Evil and evil keep befalling you all the days of your life. You see adverses and you pretend like you don't like them. Mary. Pastor Ifain, I like your style very much. Thank you, thank you for your style. Hold on, Pastor Ifain. No, 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 no. Just 
Wait. You brought an orphan to my house and you're planning to make her a mother? Pastor Fine, listen. You see that thing you did in Jerusalem? The people in Damascus know about it. In fact, God bless you. My world is full of pain. Sorrows everywhere. <laughs> Who will be of hell? <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> I came here to narrate this thing to you and you're here laughing. Isn't it what I told you? I told you they have been doing that thing. I don't respect pastors because of their colors, but because of their characters. Grow up, girl. Ah. I've ordered her to leave my house. Are you serious? Has she gone? She has two days grace to go. Uh -huh. Now you're acting. Huh. I was telling you the pastor likes that thing. But you doubted me. If only you took my advice and asked faster, this wouldn't have been happening to you by now. Please. Please. I don't force myself on a man who doesn't love me. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay now, nah. but anyway, shall they pay me? God will punish that pastor if he ever goes to the pulpit to preach. Can you imagine that? <sighs> he will be so punished. So, so punished. This is a serious matter. Very serious. <gasps> oh, wow. No wonder the both of them have the same history. They are orphans. Who told you? Mama! Mommy! Mama! How did you take such a prattle? The story is everywhere. And the church council are planning to refer the matter to the general secretary. Brother Kingsley, I have asked God to do unto me as it pleases him. Can't we go for a, for a cover-up story? You know, frame up Sister Ogona, something that would make her you know, convicted and you acquainted. My brother, do not frame up anything. It is not good to cover up one sin with another. Besides, I went to her, she didn't come to me. So, so you mean you are ready to go on suspension? I am ready. Brother Kingsley, I am so ready. Suspension or no suspension, the good Lord is always on the throne. Our God forgives a repentant sinner and delivers the oppressed. Okay. Okay. What of if Sister Oguna becomes pregnant? Then let it be. If it's the will of God, let it be. Can't we start begging her so that she get ready to remove... Brother Kinsley, please, no. No, no, please. No. Like I said, we cannot cover up one sin with another. We cannot. Let the will of God be done. Pastor, this your practice of faith may not be applicable in this matter. Everybody's eyes are red. Don't you understand? The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I don't want to see you anywhere near my house. Sister Gola, you're a disgrace to my house. You're a disgrace to the house of God. Sister Mary, please, please. I don't want to see you anywhere near my house. Please. Please, where do you want me to go house, to? Please. I have nobody else that I know that I can go to. Please, don't, don't see Sister Mary for me. Go to your parents now. <laughs> Sorry. I forgot you have no parents. Go anywhere you want to go to. Where's our, where's our own here? Is that our business? You can only go to your party, fine. Ah. Please, can I say something? Say nothing and start going, please. Afufu we bwemo. Afufu we bwemo. Afufu 
In your anger, O Lord, remember mercy. Remember our covenant and cleanse me from the guilt of fornication. Purify me, O Lord, as never before, and let my latter glory be greater than the former. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my, my Lord. God.
are you doing here? I came to show you myself. Sister Mary has sent me out of her house. She branded me a sinner. I'm going back to the streets where I used to be. I've also been suspended by the church. I also came to express my regrets. If I did not run into your car that day, I wouldn't have brought my bad luck upon you. I committed a sin and not you, you know. I, I came to give you these things. When I met you, I met you empty-handed. I didn't have them. Let me go back to the world of an orphan that I'm used to. But... I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna be an orphan is not an excuse for failure. Do you know if I'm also an orphan? Why do you want to kill yourself because your friend the pastor has been suspended from church? Look, he committed a mighty sin. I was rewarded mightily. Listen, when trials and temptation comes, that is the only way we know the true children of God. And is this how you talk about a man of God who has a problem now? It's okay. We shouldn't think so much about him now. Rather, we should be thinking about our own future. What? I know you like me, it's just that you're the shy type and you don't know how to say it. You must be out of your senses. <laughs> you seem to be very handsome. What is going on here? Sister Mary, why are you laughing and falling on him? Sister Mary, why laughing and falling on him? Greetings first, Sister ah, Mary. Hold your greetings. Brother Kingsley, what is happening here? Sister Mary, the man you have in mind have committed sin and you've left him. Now you've turned around to come to my Kingsley. See, I don't want to drag Kingsley with you. Now pick your bag, get up, and leave this place now. Are you serious? May God have mercy on you. <laughs> Can't see. Yes. You see, you've provoked him now, B. You provoked him, you're happy. Go back to your pastor, Fanny, and leave Kisley alone for me. I cannot afford to share Kisley with you, even if I share every other thing with you. Go and meet your pastor, Fanny, and leave Kisley alone for me. Stop please. falling for a man who does not want you. Hey. Yes. It's you he wants. Oh. If he does not want me, it's you he wants. Leave him alone for me. Go to your pastor, Fanny. If you want peace to reign between the both of us. If not, stop forcing yourself on a man who doesn't love you. Okay. Kisley is not in love with you. Right. Leave him alone. Okay. And who is using my car as a resting place? Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon. Who are you looking for? I'm, I'm sorry, ma. It's okay. Don't, don't go away. You, you look so tired and worn out. You look like one of those girls that run away from home. I don't have a Your baby is crying. Look, let me take you home, please. I'll help you with the baby. Come on. Put your butt. Come on.
Come here. Where are you from? Nowhere. Come on. I don't like such assumptions. Nobody is from nowhere. From nowhere with a few months old baby. I hope you're not one of those that run away from their husband's house. Oh, uh, did you run away from the hospital because of uh, hospital pills? Remembering that is like drawing myself closer to the grave. So where's your husband? Your family, I mean, friends. C come on, you must be from somewhere. really love to hear what your story is, okay? When we get home and you settle and all that, I'd like to talk to you. Fufu we we mo Afufu we we mo Afufu we we mo Afufu we we mo Oh you are too bueno mo Afufu we we mo Oh lo nyem ga pozi Afufu we we Chuku biazen yere maka Afufuwe bwemo Afufuwe bwemo Afufuwe bwemo My world is full of pain Oh, thank you. Um, this is Ogonna. Ogonna, my cousin. Blessing. She'll make you comfortable, okay? Good day, ma. You're welcome. Can I have the baby, please? The baby. Yes. Afufuwe bwemo. That's a pathetic story. I'm so sorry. <laughs> would, would you like to stay with us? I would have loved to. But because of your husband, my husband. How do you mean? Ma, I would have loved to stay. But I don't want to have anything to do with a man. No matter how holy. I don't want to be in the middle again. I understand. But it's okay. There's no husband around here. You see, well, let's leave that. That's not the topic for the day. All right? Just calm down. We'll take care of you, okay? Uh, blessing here would um, fix up the guest room by tomorrow so you can stay there with your baby. Talking about baby, is that not your son crying? <laughs> Girl has suffered so much. Are you telling me? Did you see the pain in her eyes? God. What becomes of her now? I don't know. Well, for now, she will have to stay with us. She needs help. She, she, she just needs help. She can't cope with that child. <sighs> Jesus. <laughs> what manner of a pastor will lose his theological discipline? To do up an orphan. My dear young girl, a man will always be a man, irrespective of his position. Even a pastor. Even a bishop can rip somebody if he doesn't control himself. Oh, jeez. This is very sad. Jesus. 
It's all right, sister. I'll, I'll go to the campus tomorrow to check for my NYC posting. Oh. You're scared of being posted to the north, right? No way. God forbid. Oh God, your servant is a wholesome sinner. I'm sorry to have fallen this low. Forgive me and cleanse me, O oh Lord. Wherever God may be, protect her and grant her the heart with which to forgive me. Oh my Jesus, I am sorry to have brought shame to the face of my ministry. If you deliver me from this casualty, O oh Lord, I will be more careful next time, Father. Though a man who is righteous shall fall seven times, seven times shall he rise again. You are welcome, Pastor. Brother Kingsley. It's very obvious that in recent times, members of the congregation have refused to come and see me in my home. But my question is, even you, Brother Kingsley? You don't understand, do you? You have been committed into the hands of the devil by the general of Asia himself. And he told everyone not to come close to you as long as your suspension lasts. But, but we are friends. We are not just friends, but true friends. Brother Kingsley, true friends do not keep away from their friends when their friends are in trouble. But if that is your current attitude, what can I say but God guide you? I'm sorry, but you really need to understand. Anyway, <clears throat> the reason I came to your house is um, last night I heard the voice of our good God in a dream. And that voice kept telling me to go search for Ogonna. What? Pastor, we are crying that you went to Egypt. Now you want to go there and build a house and live there? I don't even know what is enticing about this girl or that you can't get your mind off her. It's not that, it's not that. You see, this voice of God, I would not deny to you, I have been hearing initially. It had come to me initially, but I tried to ignore it. But it just kept coming. Till last night. Well, in that case, go for her then. Now the question is, where and how do I find her? Pastor, if God is the one really talking to you, He will show you the way. Just pray. Brother Kingsley, if the general overseer said that everyone, and even you, should stay away from me, did he also say you shouldn't pray with me? I, My brother, I need you now in prayers. Please, let us pray. <laughs> Pastor, I, I hope you understand the reason why I may not be able to, to see you off. So, um, goodbye. Don't say that again. Don't say it again. Have you forgotten that you were committed into the hands of the devil? Look, allowing you to enter my house is enough sin on my side. Since you've already entered, I can't push you out. But what do you want? Um, 
Sister Mary, do not talk to me this way. <laughs> the Bible says we should not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. For example, fake ministers, rapists, pretenders in colors. Pastor Fanny, what do you want? I'm here to see your girl now. <laughs> You're looking for who? Let me ask you. What is it that you want to see in a body that you've not seen before? Please, Pastor Ifani, leave my house before you bring the anger of the Lord here. Please. Sister Mary, you said the Lord says Thou that... shalt not speak when the Lord has not spoken. Sister Mary, um, we did go now, Please, my dear Pastor, it's time for you to leave. I don't want the devil to come here looking for you. Please leave. I have made peace with God. Anyone who feels he or she is holier than God should go ahead and ask God why he didn't destroy Jerusalem even after his only son was crucified there, also by people of Jerusalem. True forgiveness comes from God. God has forgiven me. And if the church refuses to forgive me, I cannot force the church. But my prayer for everyone is that God opens our inner eyes to see better. Pastor Fine, please leave my house. Now, leave my house. God bless you. Leave my house. Pastor Why did the Guna come from nowhere to deceive this young man? Why? Huh? God have mercy on that. Come on, Ogunna. You must not kill yourself over this issue. The doctor has told you that your baby will be fine. So please, ju just relax and stop worrying yourself. See? Until where am I going to get that kind of money from? The, the hospital bill is too much. Ogonna, I am not complaining, am I? No, but you, you've done enough for me already. Please, please. I will take care of the hospital bill. God bless you, ma. Bless you too. No, no, please, please, please don't do that, okay? Um, sister, yes. what about the shop thing? Oh, the supermarket. Oh, um, oh God, now, we've been talking. You know I own a supermarket. And I've thought about the fact that you need some personal things, like you would like to change your undies, buy sanitary towel, toothpaste, body cream and all that, you know, as a young lady. So I've decided that I'll let you work in my supermarket. Oh and I'll God. place you on a monthly salary. <laughs> Thank you, Auntie. Thank you. You're welcome. God bless you. Bless man. you too. Bless you too. You're welcome. Thank you. Now you guys are making me blush. <laughs> oh Lord, my God. My own Jehovah. The I am that I am, oh Lord. If truly you have forgiven me, God, save my face from shame. Give me grace, O oh Lord. Hear my prayers, O oh Father. Father, you said in your word that all things work get together for good for those who love God and to those who are called according to his purpose, God. Jehovah Elohim, Father. Lord, save me from this curse. Save me from this shame, O oh Lord. Um, yes, this is my ancestor's name. Yes, it's very big indeed. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it is a suitable place for all your shop dance, you know? Look around. Hmm. You know what? I, I don't think your auntie requires a TV and class anymore. You're very good at it. Come on, let's go. I think I like this. I'm sure you're right. Just stick around. How much? Okay, five from there now. Oh. All right, thank you. Yeah. This is mine. Ogonda! It's... Brother Kinsley. It's you! Brother Kinsley. Ogonda, do you know him? Yes. He was a member in the church of the pastor who raped me. It's okay. It's okay. I've put all of that in the past now. It was um, Blessing's auntie, Auntie Lizzie, who took me into her house. Me up. <sighs> it's a pity. But you ran away and nobody knew your whereabouts. I didn't run. Sister Mary threw me out of her house. Huh? She threw me out of her house and that was how I found myself on the streets again. Well, Pastor E. Fine has been looking all around for you. Huh? What for? We won't talk about all that right here, please. Oh, please, I don't want to see him. I don't, I don't, I don't want to see him. I don't want to see anyone who has anything to do with my past. Let my past just be. I don't want to see him, please. Um, let, let, see him. Let, let, let me ask, why does he want to see her? Uh, maybe, maybe they just have to meet again. I do not want to see him. How was she? How, how, how did she look? What was her outlook? Please, just, just talk to me. Please, please. Calm down. All right? She was looking good. Okay. And I also heard she had a baby. A baby? And... Yeah, a baby. Did, did, did you just say baby? Why are you looking cold? Oh, my God. Yeah? Oh, my God. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I mean, she must be very bitter now. I mean, how, how do I face her? How, how, how will she look at me? She has a baby. Well, anyway, the woman that picked her up from the street happens to be my fiancé's aunt. So you have nothing to worry. You will see them soon, alright? Honestly, my brother, I'm beginning to develop cold feet. I, I tell you true. It's going to be fine. Oh god. Jehovah uh, Elohim, oh, thou restore it, my soul, keep my feet on the path of righteousness, Lord. Oh, Jesus, be with me. It will be fine. It will be fine, okay? Auntie, do you know that a friend of mine was a member of Ogonna's former church? Really? Mm. He was a full witness to all that happened between Pastor Ifai and Ogonna. Mm -hmm. When I brought him to the shop today, he saw Ogonna and froze. You don't say. Seriously. <laughs> he even said he has been looking for her all over. He has? And why is he looking for her? Oh, he wants to know what kind of wretch she has become, right? I've said it before. I don't want to see him. Ogonna, you have to see him. Eh? Because Kinsley said he has been looking for you. I don't want to see anyone that has anything to do with my miserable past. I understand you are not happy. But you can never tell what God has in stock for you. There is room for compromise for every reasonable person. Hmm. That's right, you know. Ogonna, did you hear what she said? Okay, just go ahead and eat your food. Hmm? We'll talk about it later. <laughs> Come on, let's go in. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High 
shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. It is not time to start quoting scriptures, okay? Let's just go in and solve this whole thing once and for all. Hmm? Ogonna, please come and get the door. Sure you know Kingsley. Oh yeah, I know the young man. How are you? I'm very fine, Ma. Um, Kingsley, I'm sure this is your pastor friend. Yes, um, this is my friend, Pastor Ifain. Good day, madam. You're Good welcome. day. Pastor Ifain, you're welcome. Why don't you get him something to drink? Oh, no, 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 madam. Uh, we don't want to take anything. Really? Yes. Why, if I may ask? Um, we are primarily here to obtain forgiveness from Ogonna. Uh, we shall settle all that. But first you must ask. Um, listen, please. Um, Ma, this is my friend, Pastor Ifain. And um, I also believe you must have heard about the circumstances that resulted in Ogonna's baby. Um, by a stroke of chance, Pastor Ifain here was responsible for your chances of meeting Ogonna. Yes. OK. Young man, that was not a nice thing to do. You know that. Lizzie, please call call Ogan for him. Excuse me. I mean, how could you? How could you let yourself be led into that kind of temptation? You're a pastor for crying out loud. Well, okay. What do you want? God, I'm sorry. I am really, really and truly sorry. You see, our good God has been singing your name endlessly to me in recent times. Singing your name in my thoughts, in my dreams, and also to my conscience. And God has led me to you now. So here I am saying to you, please, I am so, so sorry. Forgive me, please. You're here to say you're sorry. You're here to say you're sorry, or you're here to know if there are chances of survival for an orphan. Please don't say that. We are actually on the same boat. Yes, I never told you. I'm also an orphan. I grew up in a motherless baby's home in the eastern part of the country. I never knew my parents. If I had a chance of knowing them today, trust me, I will celebrate it. Uh, uh, wait, young man, who did you say you are? I'm Pastor Ifai Nwafoma. Ifai Nwafoma. And you said you grew up in the eastern part of the country? Yes, sir. What town, to be precise? Amezu. Amezu. And which motherless baby's home was that? St. Barnabas' motherless baby's home, madam. Wait. Did you say St. Barnabas' motherless baby's home? Do you by any chance know a matron, Cynthia Williams? Yes. She was wonderful to me. She actually took personal care of me through my formative years there. Please, I hope you don't mind my, my prying. Do, do, do you have a, a big black birthmark on the right side of your chest that, that looks like a comma? Yeah, yeah, yes. 
Please let me hear me. Yeah, I see it. Condition. Take pity with a one child. Yeah? You're me. It's okay, Mama. I'm not going to cry again. I won't cry again. Mm -hmm. It is a thing of pity that he, he left us. Hmm? But in the other way round, I thank God that the wedding did not take place before he died. Hey, Mama. I wonder what you are talking about. Did you not perform the traditional marriage? Did we not? Well, we do. <laughs> well, if not because of this pregnancy, one would have said that... Uh, hey, Mama, don't go there at all. Don't go there at all. I hope you are not suggesting the possibility of me going to get married again. This is the final post of Mama. I will marry again. Ta! <laughs> final game. Huh? Thank you, final post of Ah, I married the first one, Mama. I married the first one. He threw me out after two years of my treatment. I married the second one. He was a playboy. You know now. You know. I married the third one. Just because I protested that he should stop sleeping with our house help. I became a punch back to him. And he threw me out. I married the first one. Who went to fight his boss in the office and they sacked him. He came back and started saying that I'm the one that caused him to lose his job, Mama. Now the fifth one, he came. Mama, he came one four. Mama, he can choose to die. Two days to our wedding, Mama. Yo, Mama. Mama, Mama. I will never marry again. It's over. I will marry again. Don't talk like that. You are still young. You are still young. It's okay. And you have your own portion of the blame, Mama. You have your own portion of the blame. You forced me into early marriage just because of what you want to get from those men. Now, where are the men now? Where are they, Mama? Where are they? Where are they? My daughter. You mean? You shouldn't blame me now. Mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. Your father left us hopelessly. And nobody was ready to help us. Except those men who want to sleep with me. Eh? This is not I should go and begin to sleep with them now. Eh? Ma. Hey. Oh. This world would have been a better place without me. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> God knows that. I'll keep this baby as a memorial. Yeah. I'll keep this baby. Memorial. <laughs> How can you take care of this baby? Hmm? You told me you have no money. And beside, he told me that Ike's mother hated you to death. <laughs> Mama, that woman don't wish to set her eyes on me for once in this life. She does not wish. Break away from there. Since Ike is no more, you are still young. You can marry any man of your choice. Eh? Yes. I should marry again, Mama. No. Number what? The sixth man. I should marry again. Only me. Six men, Mama. Hey, Mama, I hate men. I hate whatever binds men. I don't want to have anything to do with them again. It's over. Hate men. Mama, I'm tired. Mama, I'm confused. Oh. <laughs> Ike. Ike, I know you have seen everything. I know you have seen this baby. Ike. Your mother and your sisters, they drove me out of the house. They rejected me. Okay. Okay. 
I will not reject this baby. I will not reject him because I know you kept me. And you left your baby. And you protected this innocent child. And Oh! You go! You go! Tender, and she has not learned to keep indoors. He shall be called Ifan Yinwafo. Take him to St. Barnabas' orphanage home and hand him over to Matron St. Williams. If he eats the will of God, I shall see him again someday, sometime, somehow, somewhere. This is serious. The mother of this baby may be the lady that came to the hospital some days ago with that husband. Behold, unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given. His name shall be called Ifani Huafo. I have directed the midwives at St. Collins Hospital to bring him to you. Please, when they come, do not reject my son. Accept him and take care of him the way you've been taking care of other babies. I entrust him unto you, hoping that God willing, I will see him again someday, sometime, somehow, somewhere. I'm a woman in tears. Hey! Woman in tears? Eh? Why is this woman in tears now? Look at him now. And why would she on earth think I will waste the whole of my time and my life weeping in tears? Eh? Uh -uh. I have not even seen the, the child in question.
was how St. Barnabas motherless baby's home inherited my baby. I guess God's just used your gardener to help you find your mother. I, I am your mother. How do I believe this? I know it. I, I feel it. Because like they say, blood is thicker than water. saying the information you are asking for is a thing of many years ago and we have not locked in any data behind 1999 into our system so i cannot refer you to register but if you don't have the data inside your system at least you should have it in a file somewhere in your archives i mean it, it just has to be somewhere mm, then i will go to the records room by myself i will really appreciate that and what year was it, was it you brought the baby? Well, I did not exactly bring the baby here myself. I instructed them at St. Collins Hospital, where I gave birth to him, to bring him here. And that was on the, on the 2nd of January, 1980, over 30 years ago. That was when Sister uh, Cynthia Williams was in charge, yes. Oh. Metro Cynthia was in charge then. And the boy's name is Ifan Yonwanfo. Yes. I think you're taking me somewhere now. There was this letter Metro Cynthia cherishes so much. She kept it in our old files. And in, in that letter, I saw this name Ifan Yonwanfo. That letter was written by Ifani's mother. I wrote that letter. I am Ifani's mother. And, and this young man here is Ifani Wafo. Oh, Ifani's mother, right? Yes. Okay. All right, excuse me. <laughs> A son is born, and you shall name him Ifaim Umafo. I entrust him into your care, hoping that God willing, I will see him again, sometime, somehow, somewhere. That's the, that's, that's the letter. That's the letter I wrote here. I have a duplicate copy of the same letter. I pray and cry over it every day, hoping that one day I, I would see my son somehow. Somewhere, I just would get to meet my son again. <laughs> and here is the baby's photo. Oh my god. That's my baby. Oh my god. This is my baby. This is my baby. If I need, if I need this, this is you. If I need this, is you. God. Madam, God oh. walk in a mysterious way. If I need, God has a purpose. Letting you meet your mother. Oh. I'm so, so, so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to abandon you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I thank God for having forgiven us today. Um, Pastor Ifine here yeah, made a terrible mistake of his life. But God told him to go look for Ogona. And when he was doing that, he did not know he was also looking for his own mother. And today, Ogona has forgiven Pastor Ifine, and 
Pastor Ephraim has also forgiven his mother. That is how God works. You know, the first time I met Ogonna, something in me told me not to let this young girl suffer. Little did I know, she was going to end up with my own daughter-in-law. Indeed, our God works in a mysterious way. Yes, it does. Ifani, yes, your church has rejected you. But I am going to introduce you to my own church. And I'm sure they're going to help you since you have the Lord's calling. And uh, one more thing. This house and all that I own belong to you. Ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. it's time for the Sally Brands to appear. Yeah. That's why we are here in the first place. Yeah. Oh, here comes the Sally Brands.